Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another small fighter. Now get ready for this because this has a very, very long name and it's called the SLM LH5 MK5C Hydrogen Light Multi Rod Combat Fighter, which is this lovely thing over here. Yes, yeah, so when I saw this on the workshop page, I absolutely fell in love with it. It's basically a short, chubbier version of the Viper and it comes equipped with some auto cannons at the front. We've got hydrogen thrusters, large hydrogen tanks, and auto cannon turrets. And we are bloody fast in pretty much all directions. So press the F10 and find this in the spawn menu. The SLM is apparently 4,787 small blocks using no DLC packs and no mods. We do have one hell of a lot of information about it. And there at the top there you can see its full name. Chess is very, very long. Coming down to here, we can see what our controls are. All the way down to the bottom is specifications, and we can see his actual block size, which is a little bit smaller than what it states, coming in at 958. His PCU is 3798, and we can see here they can fly pretty much anywhere. So giving this thing a thumbs up, moving around towards the very front, have a quick look around the outside, but then test out, then if no pirates spawn on the moon, we then slam it into a mountainside, and that'll be that. So putting my light on for the moment so we can see inside here, this is what we get at the front, the SLM. So what we caught is a lovely bunch of armoured panels in the orange colour. In the middle of all of these is a set of auto cannons, four of them with a camera in the middle with a bunch of LCD screens in front of it. There's more auto cannons on the left and right hand side right next to our cockpit, so moving across there we can see one just below our cockpit and one at the bottom. That's going to be the same on the opposite side. If we were to move up just a little bit there's our fighter cockpit to drive the thing around, as well as a bunch of dark green and grey steel blocks. Onto the side, this is what it looks like, so we can clearly see our auto cannons sticking out the main body. We can also see a couple of gyroscopes right below our cockpit, give it a nice little control. Then turn around over to our thruster pod on the side. This is one of two large hydrogen thrusters to slow us down, so we should have a nice sort of speed and should come to a stop pretty much instantly. But we do have a spotlight right below there to light up the darkness. Then moving around onto the side, we can see our turret on top. We see a little fin coming off the side here, where behind this section is going to be a hydrogen tank, but we've got two of them, so we should be able to fly for a nice long time. Right in the dead centre of the ship is going to be two medium cargo containers for you to store all your ammunition and stuff inside. So you can actually go around, scout all patches, maybe carry a bit of ore back to base using this ship. At the very back, this is what's going to push us around and what's going to give us some outstanding speed, and that has three large hydrogen thrusters. Moving all the way up and looking down, we should see a bunch of small hydrogen thrusters for our left and right, as well as a couple to move us down while in space. There's the top of our auto cannon turret. There's the top of our fighter cockpit. We can see two raised steel blocks from LCD screens telling us some important information via scripts. We can come all the way down. On our left hand side, we can see an integrity script with our control set up. Onto the right hand side, we then got our target locked. We do just over there, you might be able to make out another target locked, just in case you still want to look over to the right hand side. Anyway, putting all the way up and looking down. There we go. Then dropping down and coming underneath the thing. What we're going to see is the bottom of our auto cannons. There's our connector to dock the thing up. There's the bottom of our spotlights on our left and right hand side. We can also see a bunch of hydrogen thrusters. We've got 10 small ones, two large ones, which is why it's able to fly on pretty much any planet. And it is going to be very useful, especially on some modern planets. Some modern planets have extreme gravity, so hopefully this can fly on them. Anyway, we've got three magnetic plates to lock ourselves down on. Then towards the back there, there's our three thrusters. And that's pretty much it for the outside of this ship. But now what I can do is just grab hold of my character, we can go through the controls. I don't think any space pirates are going to spawn on the moon. They might pop in, I'll actually search around before I end this, before I crash it into a mountainside. But yes, these are the controls we get. we got two tabs to go through, where number one's going to be for our main tab, which can be for all of our weapons and useful stuff. So number one's going to be for all of our autocans, fire them all together. So the four in the middle and the four at the back. Number two is to turn our turret on top, on and off. Number three is for our front larger thrusters, so we can go into cruise control. So moving forwards. As you can see, we won't slow down. Putting that back on, we'll come to a stomp. And number four is going to throw a camera at the front, right next to all of our auto cannons. So firing that, we can get a good view of what's going on and precisely aim where we're shooting. Number five and number six for our magnetic plates and connectors underneath. Number seven for our spotlights at the front, turn them on and off. There we go with that. Number eight and number nine is to turn on and off our hydrogen thrusters all the way around the ship, where eight is a universal toggle on, and number nine is for a universal toggle off. Onto tab number two, we then got a beacon to turn them on and off. Number two is for our projector, where if I was to hop out, this thing is projecting the entire ship. So if you ever took damage, like say we got taken off on the top there, back into here and turn it back on. There we go. You can see that will project all the missing blocks 
to make it super easy to repair this thing up. Number 3 is one skin for our turret to turn it on and off. Number 4 is to turn off our programmable blocks and spotlights at the front. So in first person view, looking over to the side, and press number 4, that'll turn it off. Pressing again, it'll come back online. Number 5 for our gyroscope is to turn them on and off. Number 6 is one skin for our hydrogen thrusters to turn them all on. Number 7 for our batteries to auto or recharge. Number 8 is for our hydrogen tanks to stockpile on and off. And once again, number 9 is for our hydrogen thrusters to turn them off all the way around this ship. And there we go, that is that for the controls. So now what we can do is quickly fly this thing around, hopefully some space pirates will spawn. If not, like I said, we'll slam it into a mountainside. So moving forwards, as you expect, we are bloody fast thanks to our hydrogen thrusters at the back there. Coming to a stop, we are also very fast, which is very good for a small fighter. You want to be extremely nimble to move around and dart across a battlefield, and of course to maneuver around some tight areas. Moving left, and moving right again, some very respectable speed with that. Moving up, again we should have one hell of a lot of speed faster than moving forwards. That is to be expected from a ship, then go on all planets. And then coming to a storm, as you can see, we do take quite some time. This is the slowest out of everything that is to be expected in space, because you don't really need to have too many thrusters if you're cruising around. But as for gyroscope controls, this is what we get. We are very floaty, but it does have a small hint of weight. It's not completely floaty, it doesn't feel like it's a piece of paper just flying in the wind. It does have a bit of meat, which is always nice to have. But with that all done and out of the way, now what we can do is just fly around for a bit, try and find some space pirates, and then if not, I'll cut back and we'll slam into a mountainside. And here we are. Unfortunately, the space pirates have not wanted to spawn. The signals are on full, so I can see exactly where they are if they were to pop up, but they do not want to spawn, which is quite odd. Usually there is an ore handling facility somewhere on here, but I have been jumping the ship around with the free camera, and nothing wants to spawn. So to finish off this ship and to finish off this video, what I'm going to do is charge along towards this mountain side, and that will be that. So yes, it is a lovely ship to use in your world. It's got a nice lot of firepower. It should be able to fly for a nice long time thanks to two large hydrogen tanks. And it seems to be pretty much crash proof. We only lost the front there. We only lost, well, it looks like we lost a couple of guns. If I was to turn off the projector for the moments we can actually see the state of the damage, it doesn't actually look too bad. We still got four auto cannons to shoot with. We lost our camera. We are a little bit exposed at the front. Yes, it seems to be very good at taking on a high speed collision. But yes, as I was saying, it's a lovely little ship to use in your world. It'll be great for survival mode. It should be able to fly for a nice long time thanks to its hydrogen tanks. And you've got a nice lot of firepower in the form of auto cannons and the turret. So there'll be links to the description below if you do wish to download and play around with yourself. Highly recommend you do. I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye bye.